Hello there and welcome to the last Tuesday of the month, which once again is rumours and releases. I know the title and thumbnail have been a little different, we're just improving things here on the channel. We're still going to be discussing the latest LEGO leaks from this month, and we'll start off with the Mario Kart 2025 sets, which were announced earlier this month. I did do a little short saying what they could be, what I'd like them to be, but chances are they will be scaled to the current mario interactive figures play scale so not mini figures but we are not losing our hope for mario mini figures because that would make these carts really appealing to everyone else that collects lego loads of people want to see some mario kart figures and if they don't come out i'll definitely be picking up the sets and modding them for mini figure scale because lego have given us enough pieces over the years to make our own mario kart mini figures anyway you've seen a few on this channel and i'm sure we can definitely piece together some of the characters like mario luigi and probably even get a princess peach now this year is 25 years of phantom menace but don't forget next year is 20 years of revenge of the sith so Hopefully we see a similar treatment. I would like to get a few more Revenge of the Sith sets. There are so many sets that we haven't got. Of course, we saw the MIDI Scout Invisible Hand this year. Perhaps that's a precursor to what we can expect if we can get some sort of Anakin Kenobi, Grievous, and Magna Guards, even include an Arrested Palpatine and a Dooku in a similar set. That would be really cool so far. We haven't seen too many sets for Phantom Menace. We have seen an AAT Polybag. And I think that's it. I might be mistaken. There might be something released by the time this video goes out. But as far as I'm aware, that's the only set we've got. And we are now heading very quickly towards May's deadline. So hopefully a few things get announced this month. Of course, if there's anything major, I might end up doing a video on. But chances are I'll leave it to the end of the month so I can tell you everything at once. Just like this video. And whilst we're speaking about next year, we've also got 45 years of Empire Strikes Back. It seems like just a few years ago, in fact it was just a few years ago, we were getting the 40th anniversaries for the original trilogy, 45 years for A New Hope came around two years ago, and now we've got 45 years of Empire Strikes Back. I don't expect LEGO to celebrate every five years because every year there'll be a new set, so I don't think we'll get any Empire Strikes Back sets, which is why I put the focus on Revenge of the Sith rather than any of the other movies, and... I just think as they get to the sort of 10, 20 year mark, every 10 years is enough, gets to 50 years, they might even then wait for, who knows, 100 years further down the line. Now, speaking of not getting any sets anymore, gift with purchases have seen a recent change. Gift with purchases tend to be 4-0 sets, followed by three numbers, and they're bonus little builds that you can pick up for free with spendings over so much money, and just entice you to spend more money on LEGO. I know I've definitely fallen victim to many gift with purchases over the years, and recently they've been a bit more polybag orientated. Pretty much the way you get all the polybags through LEGO is through gift with purchases on LEGO.com. I wouldn't be surprised if this LEGO Star Wars AAT makes a return for May 4th. It's a great poly bag and it's actually the first thing celebrating 25 years of Phantom Menace. As you can see on the poly bag itself because so far we're yet to see this logo on any other LEGO set. But I'm sure it'll be included on the official sets nonetheless. Gift with purchases aren't exactly what they used to be. We've got a recent set, the Carousel Ride, which looks like it should have been a gift with purchase. Likewise, last year we saw a bunch of VIP packs. Even though they switched up to Insiders, they stuck the VIP title throughout the year. And they were just bags of spare pieces and extras that you can use to improve your current LEGO sets. And to be fair, I think that's the way forward for LEGO. They need to be given... Bonus pieces that you can add to sets and especially for people buying them as gifts, they'll be able to pick up these packs with them and send it along with the gift. Whereas a lot of gift with purchases, they now own Bricklink, they see all these statistics, they're being just as popular to buy in the aftermarket as they are to pick up on lego.com and in fact loads more people are picking them up on lego.com with a gift with purchase just to then sell and get a bit of money back on their purchases. So the Carousel Ride was an actual sold set. You can pick it up on lego.com. And even though the Easter Egg House is currently a gift with purchase that is selling as we speak, unless it's sold out by the time the video goes out, we do also have an Easter Egg Poly Bag. Perhaps they're sizing up which threshold is the most popular. And who knows, the next boxes we get could be actual lego sets rather than gift with purchase but i'm really interested to see what the future of gift with purchases holds so keep your eye out for 
any other boxes either as give with purchases or for sale with that 40 number the brick heads normally start 40 and there are a few other set waves but it's not too common to get actual sets with that number now speaking of things ending like gift with purchases hopefully gift with purchases never end and they're just transitioning into poly bags and as i said the bags of bricks we yet to see any for this year and i don't think there's necessarily been too much of an opportunity the only one i'd say is whacking a spring one in for easter but easter's fallen early this year so i wouldn't be surprised if come april we start to get more vip packs but also rumors and releases here on the channel to take the spotlight away from lego for just one second it's not finishing we're still going to be speaking about rumors releases and lego leaks but i think we will be steering away from just things people are saying because over the recent months i have seen so many people put out especially for lego star wars and other popular themes put out some random things for a set and then someone else comes along later and says no this set is that and it's just a popularity contest of who can get this out first and they're not always correct so in order to not mislead you on future sets that may not be coming out i'm going to stick to more leaks from lego themselves and sets that have been seen early in stores so hopefully you are all okay with that but speaking of leaks and things that have been seen early the D&D set has now officially released. You can check it out on LEGO and there will be a full in-depth review by myself April 1st alongside all the other sets coming out in April. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that out and drop a like if you like this sort of video. But not only do we have a supposed game night on April 6th, which first off is the most random date they could have picked. This D&D set comes out April the 1st for LEGO Insiders. Everyone else, it comes out April 4th and then April 6th, there's a game night. I assume it's where there is a story that everyone who's got the set and built it over the first week of April can then play along with people at LEGO. I'm not quite sure how D&D works. I have no idea how they're going to do that for thousands of people that will be tuning in but i'm very interested still to see how that is going to work even though i'm probably not going to end up picking up the set but we already have an image out there somewhere on the web of a minifigure series for D, D. and honestly if lego do have one in the works for later this year even though everything could change by then and they could take it down a completely different path i think this is the right thing to do release a D, &D set and then months later release a minifigure series as sort of an expansion pack to the D, D set. I think the D, D set only comes with four or five minifigures that are actual characters rather than the NPC minifigures. So getting a sort of booster pack for this D, &D set will be really cool and any D, &D fan will love it. But not just that, if they do end up using a bunch of unique pieces that we've seen similar to the set with the return of video heads for the Dragon Tavern owner, then I think this is going to be a really nice CMF for Lego fans in general to pick up. Similar to the Marvel one with the exclusive printed, the Disney ones with all the different head moulds, similar to Simpsons back in the day. A lot of Lego fans will be picking it up for the custom elements that may not have any interest in D&D, especially someone making a medieval scene. You've got the Snow White's cottage, which fits quite nice with that. You've then got the brand new medieval assembly square type set. I can't remember what that's called. You've also got a few castles out there. I think the Hocus Pocus cottage is still out there. So if you're trying to build a medieval display or some display for an older setting of buildings, there's plenty of sets now out there. They are all pretty pricey. I'd love to see a Creator 3 in 1 set that takes on a similar theme, but for now, they are your best options at creating that display. Now, there is also a set that's gone completely under the radar by most people, and due to my involvement on LEGO Ideas, I guess I'm in the loop. But many people will be missing out on a brand new STEM set that is to be released. You saw it in the thumbnail, the book with the amazing scene on it. In fact, let's take a look at the set. So as you can see, there was a competition that went completely under my radar. This was during the time I was active on Ideas, so how I didn't see this, I have no idea. But the winner from this competition is actually going to be made into a set. This is the fan model, so LEGO will probably adjust it a little bit. 
But as you can see, Knowledge is Power by Daniel Bradley, who has a few really cool ideas on here, is an open book design with a few different astronauts, flowers, this giant bee, which does look very nice, is going to be made into an official Lego set. That means it's going to be sold in Lego stores. It's going to be probably exclusive to the Lego store as it's along that Lego ideas line. You might see it pop up in a few other sets. I'm not quite sure the extent of this set whether it's going to be sold perhaps it could even be a gift with purchase which there's currently a competition to decide another gift with purchase so stay tuned to find the winner of that challenge as well in the next few months but alongside that Brickset have put out a brand new lego gift with purchase perhaps even set as you see 40505 it's got the gift with purchase title but it could also be a lego house set it could also just be a normal retail set and it's lego building systems it bridges the three lego building systems if you weren't aware technic system and duplo which are the three main lego systems there was a quattro which was then twice as big as duplo but that was discontinued very early on but if you don't know about that that's a great rabbit hole to just go google and come back to this video or perhaps you can even have it up in another tab but this set includes three early designs of different lego sets you've got a duplo train here you've got a little village in lego which goes all the way back and you've also got a little race car in technic though these were originally built using duplo system and technic this is majoritively a system build you can see the duplo bricks it might have been called cool to get some duplo bricks connected in with the lego bricks because they are compatible but they have brick built the Duplo bricks using actual Lego and that goes for the whole train as well. Of course the system's built using system but the little race car is pretty much just Lego. You've got a few Technic bricks on the back but I feel like they definitely could have built these using their different build systems. But there is a little logo on the front with the name of the set Lego building systems. And it does seem to have Lego House. So perhaps this will be similar to the Dinosaurs Lego House set that we got with the three dinosaurs. Representing I think the dinosaurs in the actual Lego House. I'm not quite sure. I've never been. But it would be cool to visit one day. And also allegedly on the back of this set. There's meant to be a bunch of different miniature micro scale builds. Sort of like you see in the advent calendar for different Lego sets through the years. And even a space at the end for you to build your own micro one based on one of the new sets coming out which is a great part of the set left by the designer now before you go i just want to say there was a new theme this month it was from the duplo line but we are getting pepper pig sets now from lego i don't really see them coming over into lego system let alone lego technic though a lego technic pepper pig car would be quite funny to see lego come out with but we're also getting new sets from lego cars in also the duplo line and i would love to see that return to lego system so let me know what you think of this month's leaks down in the comments below make sure you like if you want to see more videos like this and subscribe for more awesome lego content may the bricks be with you always mm -hmm.